I need to know that he also produced a show for me on TV One, an African-American owned network, and not a lot of people know that. So he actually invested in me as a talent and in my vision. You know, but and she did a great job. <laughs> You don't ever tell the story. I, look, I've known you for decades now, and I've been at Trump Towers many, many times. There is nothing but diversity working for you. Absolutely. I see it myself. I wa witnessed it myself, and then I watch these attacks against you. I, if it was me, I think I'd be pretty ticked off. Well, you know, the one thing I see is that when you start to win, and I've watched this not just for me, I've watched it over the years, when you start to win and win and win, oh, yeah. and they have nothing to say, and they can't stop you. They always start using the racist word. And it's a very interesting phenomenon, but the word racist comes out, and that means that you're winning, and that's their last chance. And I don't think it's working. Yeah. Can I point out? Yeah. We have a huge diversity coalition called the National Diversity Coalition, founded by Michael Cohen, Daryl Scott, Bruce Lavelle is here. Can I have those members of the National Diversity Coalition to stand Absolutely. up? Do you mind? Exactly. Will the members of the National Diversity Coalition please stand up? Thank you, Scott. All races, all background, all religion. I mean, you see it. And they've been with us from the beginning, Sean, from the beginning. And one of the first meetings that we set up in Trump Tower was with a a hundred African-American ministers. This was last year. No one notes that. No one takes notice that the first thing that we did was to get him in front of faith leaders so that he could have a real dialogue and share his vision for this country. Isn't it, don't you think, and you said this, I, I watched your Saturday morning speech in Detroit and I went on the air the next Monday and I said, I thought that was the best speech you gave. It was beautiful. And you talked about <laughs> what you said. First of all, I was glad to see you there, predominantly black church. And what you said is the backbone of this country was built in America's churches, and specifically black churches. It's true. That's true. And that's a fact. And I saw such love in that room. That was an amazing morning for me. Uh, that was Bishop Jackson. Right. What an amazing guy he is, and his family, his wife, who's really such a, an important part of the church. Uh, the, the church was, I mean, packed, just, uh, you know, a, thousand, a typical day in the life of Trump. Everything. Yeah, packed. no, no. This, this church was packed. I guess uh, at least, I, I mean, well over a thousand people. Absolutely. You were there, and it was really a beautiful thing. And the song, and the love, and the, you know, the the feeling in that room was incredible. And I got up and made a speech, and you really feel it from the heart. That was an amazing group of people. And I'll tell you what, he's an amazing. He's Bishop Jackson. I did an interview with him, and so many people saw that interview. So many people told me about that, but it was a really great morning. We'll take a break. We'll come back. When we come back, Dr. Benjamin Carson, his wife Candy, they will join us. That and more as we continue. Hannah